Hey, hello my beautiful geeks, how is everybody doing today? Welcome back to the Geek Fortress. I am your host, Lewis, and today I bring you another Animal Crossing design. And today we're bringing it back to the 90s once more, because we're going to be making a Power Rangers design. And I'm talking about Mighty Morphing Power Rangers, the first Power Rangers that came out based on G-Ranger from Japan. But the first one that we got up here in North America, okay? Uh, South America also, that's where I was at the time, and that's where I watched it. So it is a big part of my childhood. So I like how they had the zapped outfits in the game. However, I wanted to make my own design that was a little closer to home. So that's why I decided to make this Power Rangers outfit. So without any further ado, guys, uh, we're going to get right to it and we're going to make this happen. So we have our pre-rendered design right here. Difficulty level for these guys, it's easy. So that's the good news. OK, we're going to use mirror for most of it, if not all of it. And we're going to have some fun. And if you like Power Rangers, make sure you hit that like button down below. And so consider to subscribe if you haven't done so yet. We do videos like this twice a week. And we do an island adventure once a week. Plus other videos in between that I'm planning on doing as well. And we do a lot of live streams too. So make sure you check us out because the Geek Fortress is awesome. <laughs> Alrighty guys. So we're going to do a short sleeve shirt. You can also do a long sleeve or a sweater or a hoodie. Uh, whatever you want to do. I'm going to do a short sleeve tee. And uh, you're going to need two shades of red and very little difference, just because one we're going to use for the belt. You're going to need uh, this red right here, which is, I think, the regular red that you get in this palette regardless. <clears throat> Excuse me. And then you're going to need this red right here, which is just slightly different, as you guys can see. OK, awesome. And then if you want to make a different Power Ranger shirt, of course, you're going to need blue. You're going to need pink. You're going to need black and you're going to need yellow. So yellow is this yellow right here which you can use the same yellow that you get with the palette. You can use the same blue that you get with the palette right here, but this is the HVB in case you want to look at it. I use this pink with this HVB right here for Kimberly's. And for Zach's, this is just black. It's just plain black, okay? Awesome. So what we're going to start is we're going to start with our pencil tool and we're going to go ahead and turn on our mirroring. Now. We're going to make a guideline first, so we're going to use gray, but it's just going to be a guideline. So keep that in mind. So we're going to go right down here and we're going to start from this point right here. OK, so we're going to do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven and eight going up like so. OK, and then down from this point right here, we're going to go one, two, three, four, five and six. So the bottom part, it's going to be a little bit, a little less big than the one above. OK, then right here, we're going to go one, two, three, four and five. OK, awesome. Now, once we get to this line right here, you know, you're doing it right because you're right on the east and west line. And that's exactly what we need right here. We're going to do one, two, and then we're going to go over and up, over and up, over and up, over and up, over and up. And we should end right about there and don't worry about this being gray because this is going to be changed into white so don't even worry about it it is going to be turned into the right color okay from this point right here we're gonna go one two three four and five right around there and from right here we're gonna go one two three four five we're gonna do one down one more six so it coincides with the same alignment as this one right here and then we're going to go back up one, two and three, just like so. Now, if you guys see uh, and this is something to note, very important. If you look at the side of the shirt, it's not really connecting to what it's supposed to do on the back. So what you want to do is you want to extend this like so, so that it looks like it's going to connect to the back of the shirt. OK, very, very important. Now, now that we have that completed, we can go ahead and go to our first red, this red right here. And we're going to go right here and right here. And now is when the magic happens. You're going to grab your white and you're going to go ahead and turn everything inside of the gray and the gray dots themselves white because we're going to make the shape of the shirt. OK, so all of this can be turned like so. Boom. And you can also use the filling tool. Don't forget that's an option, too. But if you want to be nice and more um, specific with it, more detail. You can just go ahead and do it like so. Awesome. So you see how both sides now are getting color with that same white. 
So all we have left to do is go over these right here. And being able to use the mirror for this one, guys, makes it so much easier. Boom. Just like that. So we have the front of the shirt. Now, what we're going to do to make our life easy is we're going to go ahead and we're going to press swap and copy. We're going to grab it and we're going to press Y to copy this right here. And we're going to paste it in the back just like that. So now you have the front and the back looking the exact same way. Awesome. Now, uh, what I'm going to do, you can technically just go ahead and then cover the sleeves the same red, which we're going to end up doing anyway. So you can just go red and red and then you can call it quits. But I want to go one step further and I'm going to go ahead and create a belt for the suit. Okay. So for that, super, super easy. Again, you need to have mirroring on. And you're going to make a black line going across right here. And you're going to do the same thing for the back like so. You're going to go back to the front. And then right around right here, you're going to go one, two, three, and four. From this point right here, we're going to go left. And then you're going to go over and all the way around to the back. So we kind of have the outline of where our belt is going to be going, okay? Let's go back to the front. And now we're going to get a little creative. We're going to grab this yellow right here. And we're going to do one, two, three, and four. Just like that. And then we're going to grab the second red. This one right here. And we're going to do one and two. And it may not look too different right now because this is the red ranger. But with the other rangers, it's going to look really nice. Okay? Made a mistake right there. That's actually supposed to be like that. You're going to go over one. And you're going to go one and two. And to finalize it, we're going to grab our white. And we're going to go all the way home just like so boom so we have the front we have the back and we have a really really awesome power ranger shirt just like that now uh in order to change it to the other rangers very simple guys all you have to do is go to the fill in tool and then you go one by one if you want to do trini you go with the yellow and you can actually turn off mirroring for this you do it like that you do it like that and it doesn't matter if it covers everything, don't worry. You go like that, like that, and then right here you go like that, and like that. And now you have Trini, just like that. If you want to do Billy, you go for the blue, and you do the exact same thing. You go blue, 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 and blue. Just like that. Awesome. If you want Kimberly, you can use that pink that I showed you at the beginning. And you can make Kimberly. I passed that by accident. Boom. Boom. And then you have Kimberly. Just like that. And see what I mean about that red that I use for the belt? It's going to pop for all of them. Even the Red Ranger, even though it's, it's already red, it still looks pretty cool. And then you have pink just like that. Awesome. If you want to do Tommy, of course, you can do that one. But then we would have to make a shield. But you can also make it like this. I've seen a lot of Green Ranger shirts uh, that are just the green design of the shirt. Okay. Now, if you want to do the Black Ranger... This is very important. If you have, if you want to go back from black ranger to a regular ranger, let's say I cover this in black, and let's say you want to go back to blue, this is what's going to happen. You're going to go ahead and everything is going to turn blue. So it's very important that you remember that if you want to do any color back, coming back from black, you will have to redo the belt or make sure that you go ahead and make it all over or you make one design just for black okay if you want to avoid that what you can do is you can make a line before that of the one that you want to change it to for example let's say you want to change it back to blue make a line right here of blue and on the back make a line right here with blue so that when you go ahead and change everything back to blue, like so, it doesn't change the black from the belt back to the full color that you were doing before, okay? If you have any questions on that, I know it may sound a little confusing, just ask me in the comment section below how to make the, the Black Ranger again. It's basically the same thing, but if you need to go back from black to another color, that's what you're going to have to do, okay? Just wanted to show you guys. Now, uh, Jason was always my favorite, so I'm going to stick to the Red Ranger. Boom boom and boom awesome like so fantastic and there we go guys just like that we have a really easy to make
Power Rangers design. And this is based again, once again, on Mighty Morphin Power Rangers from the 90s. Awesome. And now we're gonna go ahead and save it. And yes, we're gonna call it Power Rangers. And just like that, guys, we have the Power Rangers design. And now we're rocking it. Oh, I already have this on. Boom. Awesome. Oh, excuse me. Alrighty. And there we go, guys. There is your Power Rangers design. Let's do a little zoom in. And if you guys want, you can make a hoodie also. You know, so this is, that's really up in his face. So we have the shirt. We have some red pants that I found. And if you want to make the red darker, you can definitely do that. So that it matches, uh, like, the pants that I'm wearing right now. And you can do that as well. Uh, that's something that you can do. Uh, my mini me loves this side though. Look at that. If you do the long sleeves, of course, it's going to cover everything. It's going to be a hoodie, but then you're going to have that hoodie shape in the back. So don't forget that. But you can definitely change it during the winter. You can change it to a hoodie or during the fall. And then you have a hoodie design for the Red Ranger. How awesome is that? Awesome. Now, um, I want to show you guys because I also made a Pink Ranger one because my wife's that's my wife's favorite one. It's up here. And this is what the Pink Ranger design would look like as well. Now, for some reason, the lighting in the room is making it look like really, 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 really pink. But if I change it, you can probably see it better. Let me see. Let me see if I turn off the lights. There we go. So that is the pink. That's actually how the pink would look like. Not like that, right? It looks like really, really light pink. But this is the pink that we're going to go for if you choose to make the pink ranger. Okay? Awesome. We're superheroes. Oh, yeah. Now, uh, what you can do if you want to do a Power Rangers cosplay... You can wear these red sweatpants that I'm wearing, of course. And the game already gives you these uh, Zap boots, I believe they're called, which is the boots that I'm wearing right now. Uh, I'm wearing the red sweatpants. And then you guys can put on the Zap helmet that they give you like this. Boom. <laughs> and there you go. You have your own, I think, I like this outfit a lot better than the one that they provide. Uh, but again, if you want to keep the Zap outfit, you can do that. But if you want to do with a more classic, power rangers look this is the look that you're looking for okay and that's it guys that was my power rangers design change the color to whatever color you like best and you can have all of them even if you want if you make the design you can go ahead and have all of them uh for the upload of this to my um creator id i'm only going to upload the red if you guys want me to upload the other colors let me know in the comment section below but as of right now i'm just gonna upload the red Again, if you guys want me to upload the other colors, let me know below. I'll do it if you guys just want to download it. But if you're making it yourself, which I think it's so much cooler because you are able to make your own design and you can make any changes that you want to it, you can definitely just make one for each Ranger or have one that you can change all the time. But that's it, guys. My mini me would like to say thank you because you guys have been awesome. Thanks. Oh, yeah. As per usual, you guys have been awesome. If you enjoyed this video, guys, please do not forget to like and to subscribe. Uh, if you haven't done so yet, share this video with everybody who may like Power Rangers or who you know who loves Power Rangers. Grew up in the 90s and it's really a fan of Power Rangers. So definitely make sure you do that as well. As per usual, guys, you have been awesome. I have been your boy, Lewis. Do me a favor, guys. Stay awesome and geek on and until the next time this is my mini me saying bye